While I have both machines, my Thermomix is now being sold and it's going to be picked up in about two hours. This is an old TM31. And I want to do a comparison between this, oops a daisy, between this, the Varoma basket, and the Kogan Elite All in One Thermo Blend. The reason being is when I was looking on the internet, I could not find anything um, that would help me decide to either fix my Thermomix. This is an older model. There are two newer models. You will see a few of these there. They go anything from about four to $600 secondhand with all the pieces that you see here. So the Thermomix, as you can see, this is the scales. The jug sits on and you weigh everything in the jug itself. Okay. With the Thermo Blend, it's almost identical. It's still got these points, but you don't weigh here. You weigh on this section here. Now, it might be a little bit different for the earlier Thermo Blends, but not for this one. They're both turned off, so I'm not going to show you how they physically work. That's not what this is about. It's about how they differentiate and how they're the same. So the jug itself, if we put the two jugs together, you can see that the Thermo Blend jug is actually larger. So if you've got a larger family, probably better than the Thermo Mix. Having said that, the later models have larger jugs. The jugs themselves are quite different. Now I did explain this in another video, but I'm going to actually post this one first. The Blade on the Thermo Blend is quite difficult to get off. You physically have to hold the blade and it's not really a one-handed job. I find that quite dangerous. I have children who will be using this machine. They're not going to be using it for a little while until I have actually got them, well, until I have mastered the skill and then I can get them to master the skill. With the Thermo Mix, it's much, much more, well, there's the first difference actually. The, this one has a basket. You can boil eggs in it, you do rice in it, you do some other things. Um, the Thermo Blend does not have anything like that. So when we get to that section, I'll work out how to boil eggs in there. It does, however, have interchangeable blades. So this one's the blades in there at the moment, but you can also do other things, which we'll get to later. The Thermomix only comes with the blade. Now the blade is completely attached via the base. So that is the big difference there. It's probably a lot safer. It's easier to get out. You remove the base by twisting the base like this. It's easier to get off one handed and then it's a matter of just lifting out the blade. So it's very, very safe. My 13 year old can use it, no issues whatsoever. There are little eyelets there that go into the eyelets at the bottom. And then once again, this is actually a two, it's a two handed job. You cannot do it one handed. Um, you have to hold the blade in place on this knob and twist at the same time. So you, as I said, can't do it one handed. Although, oops, I seem to have done it. There we go. Um, but very, very safe. Not quite so safe. Very difficult to get out and back on again. In fact, I can't even, oh, I, oh as I said, I'll have, there we go. We've got it off. Um, it's a twisting mechanism. I don't know if you can see the inside there, but it is a twist and you have to really make sure you hear that second click. You must make sure that second click because the first time I used this, the blade actually came off. In terms of the lids, very, very similar. You actually have to put them into the machine. So I'm just going to pop the basket in as well. Now, Fermi here is quite old. I think he must be nearly 10 years old. The reason I'm selling him is the motherboard is gone for the third time. The person who wants him is going to use him for parts. He doesn't, he no longer has a cup that goes in the top. I tend to use just a quarter cup measure that I bought from some cheap shop or the other. Works very, very well. I've also lost the spatula. Okay, the spatula on the Thermo Blend, not as good in quality, considering that the price is about 
or one eighth, you can't expect much. So there is the spatula, it looks almost identical to the Thermomix one. I think it's a little bit shorter. Um, it's only supposed to be used through the hole in the top. This is the lid. I've finally mastered how to do it one-handed. It is actually quite difficult to put on, so it is very safety conscious. The cup measure that goes in the top also cannot be has to be twisted in and locked in so unless you twist it out so it's quite safe as well the spatula works obviously won't touch the blades in the bottom okay so in terms of those the tm31 which is an old thermomix and the thermo blend about the same Scales, as I said, are on the side. Haven't really used those yet, so I can't really comment about those. The one thing I do like about the Thermo Blend that the Thermo Mix does not have, and remember, this is a new model, no, uh, 21 model. This little man's been out for about 10 years. So, what you can do is replace the the blades with the spindle. And on the top of the spindle goes a cutting blade. Now this can either cut, so it can dice your onions or make carrot rounds, um, things like that. And if you turn it the other way, it grates. So you pop that on the top of the spindle. Excuse me, I'm trying to do this one handed. But you put it on top of the spindle and the whole lot goes inside. So it sits here. And then on top, you put a different a different top and it turns into like a Kenwood type mixery type thing where you put your onions, potatoes, carrots, vegetables, whatever it is, nutmeg, garlic and down she goes. So you can either grate it or cut it, which I think is just amazing because Thermi tends not to do that, whereas the blend is, is better at that. And then the last thing I wanted to show you were the Veromas. So they both have Veromas. I've never really been a fun lover of the Verona for the Thermomix. I've never, oops, I'm sorry, you have to put the lid on first, beg your pardon. Safety wise, I can't see any differences between them except for the blade. So it has the, the Veroma bowl, the Veroma tray, and the aroma top. Now just grab the one for the thermo blend. All the other pieces, the other things I do like that come with this are different blades. So this is your mixing blade. So this is just for mixing. This is when you want to mix but not chop. Then you've got your butterfly, which has also been lost, unfortunately, for the Thermomix. So the butterfly is for whipping cream. Um, I'm not sure what else at the moment, but we'll, we'll figure that one out. There's also some little pads and a brush to clean it, which is really nice because it's one of the things that I find hard sometimes with the Thermomix. Once again, top on sorry have to do this two one it, it's usually it's probably a two-handed job take the cup away and it also has a veroma tray once again the basket is there the tray and the lid now it's very obvious that the plastic here is not the same quality of the lid as the quality of the Thermomix and even the basket, not quite the same quality. The stainless steel jug, can't really see much of a difference in those. The blades, we're very, very new to this. We'll see how it goes, but I suspect that the blades will not last anywhere near as long before they need sharpening. Um, but in general, you're talking about something that's less than $200. I have already used it once today 
seemed okay, did everything I asked it to do, everything that the Thermomix would have done. Um, people have said you need to change the recipes slightly, so we're going to give that a go. Um, follow the channel if you want to look at those recipes. They will be from the Thermomix book and from the Thermomix site. Um, but yeah, poor old Thermy's had his day. So, bye Thermy.